away. These guys are the greatest. I mean, they are wonderful, wonderful people. Playing senior softball is a small triumph against the aging process. I am pretty good looking. <laughs> they caught the bug, and they're going to be playing this game for a long time. I think it changed their lives. It changed my lives. It changed a lot of people's lives. In 2013, in the U.S., over 7 million people played slow pitch softball. Over 67,000 of them are over age 65. I first started playing organized softball when I was still in high school. I'm uh, three months shy of being 88 years old. I play ball three times a week. I'm in the uh, Softball Hall of Fame. Shortly after all my training, I went to Vietnam. Sunday they said, well, you have a little bit of downtime. You know, you get together and uh, play a little team sports. You, you, you want it done, why? All right! Before about 1992, Senior slow pitch leagues in the Dayton area did not exist. We wanted every team to win a game, every team to lose a game. I think that the guys who are playing senior softball are survivors. Even though you've had health problems, even though you've had problems in your life, camaraderie and track suit to the game. It's the greatest sport and it's easy. You don't get, you very seldom get hurt. There is an art to the process of hitting. We at Louisville Slugger figured, with the growth of senior softball, we need to be in this market. There's nothing sweeter than the sound of a softball being hit well. We've had guys that haven't played for 20 and 30 and 40 years and are coming out and they're repeating playing year after year. This is the Fall League.